Well, Danielle Cohn did it again. First she offended the Hispanics, then she offended the animal lovers, but now she has found a way to offend yet another community. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Simon Steph and you guys, yes, 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 I know, another video on the legendary Danielle Con artist. The girl who pretended to be Hispanic after receiving backlash from telling a real Hispanic to go back to his own country. And this is the same girl who after making multiple songs in the Spanish language where one of them she called herself the Latino Queen. I'm the, the Latino Queen, what it to be? Said that she was mistaken and that she's actually Arabic, which is a language, in Indian. My dad is like mixed with, like he's like Indian. white, Indian, and Arabic. This girl just, oh my goodness. So I've made a lot of videos on Danielle, but just come on, like look at the views. It's hard not to make a video on her when they keep doing well and she continuously gets into controversy. So I just want to say that I have nothing against Danielle as a human being. For all I know, she might be nice in real life and fun to hang around, but it's her online persona and offensive actions to Hispanics and now even the black community, which I got a problem with. So guys, with that being said, Danielle Cohn recently dropped a new song titled Foolish and all I gotta say is that she is foolish for making it. So you might be asking yourself right now, why does that title sound so familiar. Well, it's because over 10 years ago, a singer named Ashanti also dropped the song called Foolish. And not only do they share the same name, but they literally are the same song. Except Ashanti's is the original and Danielle's is an edgy dollar store, chap girl, black fishing, wannabe, R&B singer remake of it. Actually, you know what? I take the dollar store out of that reference because comparing this disrespectful mess of a music video <laughs> So the dollar store would be offensive to the store itself. So I know that covers are a thing and the title of the video even has the word cover in it, but she only added in that word after she received an enormous amount of backlash from people. Up until she received all the hate, she was claiming the song as her own. Here's a screenshot from TikTok she posted where the caption says, make a TikTok to my new song. And here's a screenshot that I have from Danielle's Instagram story before she uploaded the video onto her channel. And as you can see, nowhere does it say the word cover in the title. And if you think that pretend Sending someone else's song as yours couldn't get any worse? Well, it does. Because Danielle also launched merch for the song. So not only are you gonna steal the song from Ashanti and pretend it's your own, but you're also gonna profit off of her song by releasing merch. Wow, that's just low. Okay, so enough of me talking. I wanna get into the actual music video, but just before we do, I'm really hoping to reach 100,000 subscribers on my channel by the end of this year. So if y'all can leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot. But anyways, as always, let's roll the clip. See my days are cold without you. God. Okay, I'm sorry. I know that the song has barely even started, but I have to pause it because what is that? Who did her makeup? Like someone tell me why her eyebrows be looking like a porcupine and her face be darker than the rest of her body. It's just funny how this is what Danielle looked like when she made the song Marilyn Monroe, which was the most whitest song that I have ever heard in my life. But then when she covers an R&B song from a black artist, she feels the need to do her edges and put on all this dark eyeshadow, lipstick. You get the points. Okay, so I can't comment on the lyrics because they're literally just copy pasted from Ashanti's song. But what I can say is the vocals. I mean, they're not that bad. Trust me, it's way better than I could ever do. Like, I couldn't sing if my life depended on it. If I made a song, it would probably be even worse than Lil Key's XXL Freestyle. Man, mine grow old like green. <laughs> okay, but seriously though, that makeup. I was really curious to see who decided that it would be a great idea to do that to her face. And you're in for a surprise. So her makeup artist goes by the name of Cynthia Diaz. Now I'm not gonna accuse anyone of black fishing because I'm white and you know, it's not my position to do that. But Cynthia typically tends to focus on doing makeup for black people. But I find it strange how Danielle hired her in particular to do her makeup for a music video in which she covers a song by a black artist. It's the feeling the need to black fish when covering a song by a black artist for me. And I was all you had 
Okay, so the thing that I loved about Ashanti's music video is the song had real emotion and there's a beautiful story with the music video. But then Yell's music video on the other hand, it's just very bland and unseasoned. Watching her music video is like ordering a poutine but forgetting the cheese curds and gravy. Or like drinking a smoothie but forgetting the fruit. The whole entire music video just her sitting in the hot tub with clothes on and staring at us while she's sitting on the stairs. There's just nothing appetizing about this. Yo, okay, you know what I just realized? I don't know if y'all know who Jesse McCartney is, but Danielle's song is identical to every bit of Ashanti's song, except for the instrumental. Now tell me that the instrumentals from Danielle's song does not sound like the instrumentals from Jesse's song called Beautiful Soul. So not only are you gonna pretend that Ashanti's song is your own, but you're also gonna steal the instrumentals from Jesse McCartney's song. Wow. Just wow. This is literally the same thing repeated over and over and over again. This is like watching that one movie, Groundhog Day, except it never ends. Like who directed this music video? If it's Joe Bland again, I swear. Yeah, yeah, it's Joe Bland. Well, if there's one thing in common that both him and the music video have in common, it's they're both bland. Oh God, what was that? And that wasn't even the worst of it. Listen to what happens next. So sad, so sad, what love will make you too. Yikes, I mean, even Autotune gave up on Danielle. Okay, look, there's no problem with Danielle making R&B music, there's no problem making reggae, and there's no problem making pop. But there's been a continuous trend of her trying to profit off of other cultures. And Danielle adding the word cover to the music video is just a fancy way of saying you plagiarize, got caught, and now don't want to face the consequences because you're a stuck up, cocky, wannabe singer who thinks she owns the world. After she got called out, Danielle was saying that Ashanti is one of her favorite artists and she was just trying to show some appreciation. Clear this up. I did not steal Ashanti's song or take it from her. She's one of my favorite artists and I wanted to remake her song, which is what I did. I did a cover. Many people do it, so I don't really know why I'm getting hate for it. I just wanted to remake one of my favorite songs, so if people could just stop saying that I took her song when I didn't. I even gave her credit and everything, so yeah, just stop. Because obviously you don't know what you're talking about, so yeah, bye. But it's funny she would say that because she doesn't even follow her on Instagram and she doesn't follow her on Twitter either. So if you claim that she's one of your favorite artists, how are you not supporting her with a simple follow? Anyway guys, I've had enough of reacting to this music video, so that's gonna do it for this video. And look, I'm not trying to hate on Danielle for the sake of hating. As I said in the beginning of this video, I have nothing against her as a human being. But my problem with her is that she's had a long history of offending Hispanics and now even black people. About a month ago, her boyfriend released a track called Hello, and I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of fire. The autotune was very high, but aside from that, the flow was very nice, and I even gave a like on the video and gave him a supportive comment. And I'm not telling Danielle to stop making music, because after all, it's her life, and she can do whatever she wants. But I'm just asking her to please stop offending people through her songs. A few months ago, she made a song called Bailamos, which offended a lot of Hispanics, because she called herself the Latino queen, despite not being Latino. And I made a video on it calling her out, saying how disrespectful it was that she did that. And my video calling her out for her offensive actions got over 80,000 likes. And her music video got almost 80,000 dislikes. So all I'm saying is just, Danielle, look at the numbers and just, Look, you're not always in the right, okay? I've seen a lot of the hate you get and I know a lot of it is dumb. It's really stupid and you shouldn't be getting hate for certain things. But for things like this, offending the Hispanics, offending black people, it's, you deserve it. I'm sorry, but you do. Anyway, that's officially gonna do it for my video. I hope that you did enjoy watching this. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My TikTok is Ivan Steph Official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph. And my Snapchat is Shotgun underscore you, 09. But anyways, that's officially gonna do it for this video. And until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.